Hi, hello, my dears. Yet another grammar class is here. I am here with yet another grammar class. Today we are discussing about the case of nouns when it changes the number, number of nouns, number of items change. How will we use the nouns? That is what we are going to discuss in today's class. Okay. So, what is a noun? It is the name. It can be the name of a thing, a place, a person, etc. It can be a name, noun. And you have learned kinds, types of nouns also, isn't it? Yes, we have discussed about so many types of nouns. What is a singular noun? I have got book. This is a book. And these are books. What is the difference between book and books? It is book is singular because it is only one. There are There is only one book and the book is singular. Now, it is more than one book. So, books and the plural form of the book is books. Clear? So, if a thing is only one thing, if it is only one, it is singular. And if it, if it has got more than one, it is plural. And in the case of book, it is books. In the case of uh, chalk, it is chalks. And in the case of flower, it is flowers. But in some cases, there are a slight differences for the plural forms. Let's have a look into the plural forms. There are regular plurals and irregular plurals. Two kinds of plurals are there. Regular and irregular. And regular plurals, you look boy, boys, cow, cows, duck, ducks, fan, fans, hen, hens, book, books. Pencil, pencils. And that is, we are adding S to the singular noun. Boy, boys, cow, cows. We are only adding a S to the noun. Is it clear? Okay. And in this case, class, watch. You look. Have we added only an S? No, we have added ES. Class, classes. Watch, watches. And in the case of nouns ending in S, here the noun end with S. The nouns ending with SH, then CH, X, S, SH, CH, X. The nouns ending with all these items, we will put E and S at the end. Watch, watches. Class, classes, brush, brushes, box, boxes, bench, benches, branch, branches, church, churches, clash, classes, clashes, you know, class, classes, clash, clashes, bench, benches, box, boxes. We will add ES. If nouns end in these form, we will add ES to the nouns. That is class, classes. Watch, watches. Clear? Okay. Moving on to the third case. The nouns ending in O. The nouns ending in O. Mango. Hero. We will put ES. We will put ES. Here nouns ending in S. We put ES. ES. Here S. S. And the nouns ending with O, mango, hero, we'll put ES, mango, mangoes, hero, heroes. Clear? Okay. Moving on to the third, fourth one. Some nouns ending with E, we'll only add S. Here, the, the noun ending with O, we added E and S. For mango, it is ending with O, we added E and S. For hero, it ending with O, we added E and S. But for some nouns ending with O, we only add S. Photo, photos, ratio, ratios, memento, mementos, stereo, stereos, piano, pianos, radio, radios. We will only just add an S. 
Now the next case. Nouns which end in y after a consonant form their plural by changing y and adding es. Now you look uh, here. Baby, babies. Lady, ladies. Boy, boys. Key, keys. What is the difference? All these end with y. Isn't it? Here we have only put an s. Here we have put es. That is here. It ends with y, but before y, it is o. What is a what is o? It is a vowel. What is vowel? A, e, i, o, u. All these letters are vowel. And before y, if these letters come, then we will only put an s. Okay. Before y, it is o. O is a vowel, so we will put only. S key before y it is e e is a vowel so we put s so nouns ending in y before y if it is a vowel then we will simply put an s to the end and look here baby before y it is b is b a vowel no b is not a vowel lady before y it is d is d a vowel no it is not a vowel here this o is a vowel this e is a vowel but here this b is not a vowel this d is not a vowel but other than letters other than vowels is called consonants these are vowels and all other letters are consonants here it is a consonant so the nouns ending with y before y if it is a consonant we will put es to the end clear and if it is a vowel before y we will just put an s okay now the next case is nouns ending with f f and f e life calf you look this ends with f e this f some cases we will put v e s instead of f we will change this f into v in some cases in some nouns ending with f and f e we will change this f into v and in some cases we will not change anything we will just put s that you have to get thorough by reading and reading and doing exercises. So, life, lights, calf, cows. You look, loaf, loaves, half, halves, wife, wives, knife, knives, wolf, wolves, thief, thieves. All these we will change F into V. And in some cases, safe, safe. Just put S. Believe, believes, gulf, gulfs. Brief, briefs. You can check your grammar textbook. It is given in given there. Examples are given there. You can check it. So in plurals, there are regular plurals and irregular plurals. Under these regular plurals come these cases. The nouns, simple nouns, we will just put s to make plural form. The words ending with s, sh, ch, and x, we will put es. The nouns ending with o, we will put es. In some cases, the nouns ending with o, we we'll just put s. The nouns ending with y, if uh, a vowel is before y, then we we'll put i. A es, i es. We will change this y to i and put i es, es. And before y, if it is a con, if it is a vowel, then we we'll put just s. And before y, if it is a consonant, we will change this y into y and put a es. And the nouns ending with f and fe, in some cases, this f is changed into v. And put es, lights, cars, etc. And in some cases, we will just put s. And all the examples are given in your grammar textbook. You can check it. Now, we are moving on. After regular plurals, there are some Irregular plurals. There are some irregular plurals. Regular and irregular. Is that clear? So plurals are of two types. Regular and irregular. 
irregular plurals. So, what is irregular plurals? What is the plural form of child? Is that child's? No, it is children. Ox, oxen, child, children. Then, man, men, woman, women. You see the difference? The entire word is changed like that. Mouse, mice, tooth, teeth, food, feet. All these are irregular plurals. Now, in some cases, sheep, then deer, then descent. All these words doesn't have plural forms. It always stands like this. In singular form and plural form, these words are like this. It doesn't have any change. In some words, dividers, compasses. Then scissors. All these words always stands in plural. We will not say the singular of these words. Then another case, some plural forms are uh, only in plural forms. That is politics, mathematics, physics, mechanics, news. All these plural forms are used. It doesn't have any singular form. Then people, police, etc. doesn't have any plural form. Okay. In another case, some cases, it is father in law. Father in law. What is the plural of father in law? It will begin, it will become fathers in law. Clear? Okay. So, regular plurals we have seen, we are keep putting S and ES like that. In irregular plurals, there are ox, oxen, child, children, man, men, woman, women, uh, then sheep, deer, doesn't, it doesn't have any plural form. Uh, then dividers, compasses, scissors, news, politics, etc. is uh, said in plural form. It doesn't have any singular form. Then father-in-law become fathers-in-law. Mother-in-law become mothers-in-law. Uh, then stepson become stepsons, etc. like that. Then another case, what is the plural form of I? It will become V. Then me will become my. Sorry, me will become us. Yours is always yours. Then him become them. It's become there. Yourself become yourselves. Yourself. It will become your selves. We have seen the words ending with F. We will change the F into V. And we put a put an yes. Okay, is that clear? Okay. So in uh, plural forms there are singular and uh, plural forms of nouns. There are regular plurals and irregular plurals. In regular plurals you have seen we are putting s and yes. We are changing f into v. Uh, and in the case of y ending words or ending with y, if the word uh, the letter before y is a consonant, we will put. Then we will put just S, the letter before Y is a vowel. We will change the Y into I and put an ES. Everything is clear. Now in irregular plurals, there are ox, oxen, child, children, man, men, woman, women, father in law, fathers in law, yourself, yourselves, I, we, me, us. Then these words, she, dear, doesn't only have plural form, they only have singular form, it doesn't have any plural form. Dividers, compasses, scissors, uh, news, politics, mathematics, etc. doesn't have any singular form. Is that clear for you?
okay you must watch this video two or three or more times then you will understand it and you go through your grammar textbook it will be easy for you uh, uh, nothing to worry about this it is very easy it is very simple you have to watch the video twice or thrice okay and do the activities given in your grammar textbook okay and if you have any doubts you can ask me okay thank you